Thanks very much, Malia. You did a great job. All right. Welcome to my outdoor garden here. Went ahead and bought some plants. Uh, so let's talk about what we have here today. Uh, first of all, I got four different types of tomatoes here uh, that I want to plant. Uh, the first one we have the hybrid. These are really uh, sweet tomatoes. They're very juicy, very, very sweet, good for like your burgers, you know, stuff that you're going to eat right away. So it's a really a great tomato for that. Um, also, we have another one here. It's uh, a Baltimore hybrid tomato. Um, it's another uh, burger tomato as well. Nice and juicy. And then I have here a better, a better boy uh, hybrid tomato. These tomatoes are all sweet, good for your salad, good for your, uh, you know, making like a tomato salad, tomato mozzarella salad. It's really nice, really good tomato for that. So I want to try those out. And then the next one here is a, a sweet 100 tomatoes. These are very tiny tomatoes, they're very sweet. It's good for your salad. You're making like a relish or something like that. It's really good for that. Very sweet tomato. All right, so that's the tomato. About the, uh, the other herbs that we have here, a bunch of herbs in here. I love herbs. I love to cook with herbs. It makes a huge difference in the flavor of your food. Okay, so here we got uh, oregano. Oregano is an Italian herbs. Okay, in Italian herbs. So we're gonna plant these. I'm gonna be planting these in, in my pots over here, and I'll show you. And I'll show you that. Uh, and I'll tell you why I like to plant my herbs in the pot instead of in the ground. So here we are, two pots, two 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 plants with oregano. Uh, and then we have our parsley over here. Parsley is great for garnish. Great for finishing. Uh, not much of a flavor in parsley, it's more like more like for color, you know, there's not much of a flavor in um, garnishes and stuff like that. So I didn't get too much of that because the application is not really that much that I'm going to be using. But I do like to use parsley in some of my dishes. Uh, here we got sage. Sage is very good, especially when you're doing like roasted vegetables. It's very woody. So it's not one of those vegetables that you can, um, not one of those herbs that you can use, you know, like in the salad. It has to be cooked or saute in some form, roasted. So that's really good. It's good like a hard or veggie, like, you know, you're making like a squash or roasted uh, uh, acorn or roasted uh, potatoes or something like that. It's good on that. So that's the sage. I got two of those. Thyme. So now moving along to the next. Let's talk about the thyme. Okay, there are several different types of thyme when you go in the store. For those of you that are looking for time, like you're looking for everyday time, English time, okay? They do have German time, they have lemon time, they have a lot of different times. So I go with the uh, English time. That's a good one. So right here, I got three of those. Okay, we're gonna block, we're gonna do those. And then that, moving along, um, I have some strawberry here. I got a strawberry plant. I'm gonna plant strawberry this year. I wanna see what it, what's gonna come out of that. And let's move along. Uh, I got some peppers here. Here I got bell pepper, red bell pepper. Okay, that's one type. And the other one I have is orange sweet pepper. So I want to see orange peppers here. So that's the second one. And the third one is I have a spicy bell pepper. So these are like small spicy bell pepper. Okay, so that will be good. And then last but not least, I have my rosemary. <laughs> I love rosemary. So that's our rosemary, baby girl. This is rosemary, okay? This is good for, uh, again, this is like a woody herb, not a finishing herb. It's an herb that you have to use to cook. You know what I'm saying? You have to cook it a little bit. So you saute it or you roast, roast with it. Good vegetables for that. Good uh, herb for that, okay? So, so that's what I'm doing here. Uh, let's talk about planting. I like to plant my herbs in the pots uh, simply because um, I can plant other things in the ground, save the space to plant other things in the ground, like most important things that I really want to have. Whereas the herbs, if I plant them in the pots, I can just I can put them along the side uh, of my garden. So it's more like more like uh, utilizing the spaces that I have. Plus the herbs doesn't need a whole lot to grow. All right. So we're gonna do time here. Okay. We're gonna easily use this thing out of here. Be very gentle with this. You can pull the whole thing out. Yes, sweetheart. Oh, you want to dig a deep, you know, depth into the um, into your your uh, your soil right here. This is the soil that I, I prepare. So um, some dirt that I bought. Let's get this. Put these in here. Let's just put the dirt around it. Get it all covered. Okay. Get that dirt around it. 
That's our time. Okay. Yeah. All right. So here we're gonna be planting our uh, Baltimore tomato right here. Put it right on the edge. I want to keep it close to where where the sunlight is. So when the sun comes up, tomatoes need sunlight. Uh, there's a tree over my garden. So there's a reason why I'm putting it closer to the edge here because when the sun comes up, it comes directly over here. So my tomatoes will get that's that. Like that tree. Yeah, exactly. That sunlight. Hold on, sweetie. So we we make a hole here, a deep hole. Okay, then we're gonna put some on girls. Put, come on, put that put that dirt in. Now we can put the dirt in. Go ahead. Go ahead. We're planting tomato. So this is a Baltimore tomato. Okay. Yes, so all right, now it's time for uh, to put the uh, the tomato uh, rack or over the tomatoes. The tomatoes are very small. Now is the best time to do it because once the tomato grow, you won't be able to put the tomato um the, the rack or the, the um the rack over it so so the tomato when they when they get older it's easier for it to um to sit so right now i'm just pushing it all the way down because when this tomato tree fully grown it's gonna be it's gonna be tall it's gonna be really tall so you want to make sure that you have a good support for that so i'm planting i'm expecting a great harvest so planting with expectation okay all right i just want to give you a walk through what i just uh, planted in my garden. So over here I have all the tomatoes that I bought and then I have the uh, the peppers that we talk about. I have them all over here and then I have um, my thyme right here. Welcome to rosemary. <laughs> yes, rosemary, oregano, sage, parsley and then over here, baby you gotta look at the plants, and then over here, let's come over here we have strawberries over here. This year I try and do some strawberries. See what how they comes out. Okay, so that's our strawberry right there. Now it's time for fish. Now that our day's work is uh, has uh, ended, it's time for fish. I want to thank Renee. I want to thank you for your help today. You did a great job, Renee. Thank you, Nene. <laughs> Malia as well. You guys did great. Thank you so much uh, for for uh, helping me today. So now it's time for faith. You know, as you can see, whatever you plant, you reap. You know, there's definitely a message there. And I, I am hoping to reap some uh, beautiful tomatoes and uh, some you know, great herbs to cook. I'm hoping to do that. So I want to thank God for the opportunity, you know, for me to be able to plant my own stuff. Uh, there's no feeling like that when you, when you be able to plant your stuff and come outside and um, water them with the family It's a great family event. I love it. I enjoy doing this So I want to thank God for that the privilege and the opportunity. So thank you all For uh, all your support and I pray the blessings of the Lord be upon you be encouraged God is in control no matter what's going on Stay strong keep the faith and I can't wait to show you the next episode. All right, stay tuned Don't forget to like our, our channel Hit the notification bell so you won't miss anything that we have coming. We have a lot in store to come. God bless you.